Dear students, welcome to my channel. Main topic of this video is segmentation and sub topic is segmentation based on discontinuities. In this video, point and line detection is covered. Now let us start. First we will see what is mean by segmentation. Image segmentation is the process of dividing an image into different parts or segments to identify the objects and boundaries within it. In segmentation, input are images while outputs are attributes extracted from images. The level to which subdivision is carried depends on problem being solved. Segmentation should stop when the object of interest in an application have been isolated. Segmentation accuracy determines the eventually success or failure of computerized analysis procedure. So therefore, if any image processing application have the segmentation as sub-step, then success of that application is mainly depends on our segmentation process. Application of segmentation are automated inspection of electronic assemblies, missing components or broken connection path, autonomous target acquisition, number plate detection, medical imaging, autonomous vehicle, robotics, agriculture, etc. Now, this is the output of segmentation. So, based on discontinuity, we are identifying the boundaries of the object and based on the similarity, we are identifying the similar regions. That is not the boundary, but inside the boundary that is similar region. Segmentation algorithms are based on two basic properties of intensity values, discontinuity and similarity. Discontinuity approaches to partition image based on abrupt changes in intensity that is nothing but edge or high frequency signal that is nothing but point line and edge. Similarity approaches to partition the image based on similar region according to predefined criteria. So example are thresholding, region growing, region split and merge. Based on detection of discontinuities there are three ways that is detection of point, line and edges. Now in this video the detection of point and line is covered. Point detection. Point detection can be achieved with simple high frequency mask given below. That is nothing but the sharpening mask. So this mask is used for detection of the point that is in center it is there and all around is minus one. So this is simple high frequency mask. Point is a high frequency signal. Two types of points can be detected that is bright point on dark background. For example, this is continuous 10, this is low frequency region, this is low frequency region but transition is there. So 10 to 24, 24 to 10. So we can find out that here the bright point is present on the dark background. And the another case is dark point on bright background. Now this is nothing but all to 40 is nothing but bright and in between 10 is there. So we can see that abrupt change in intensity therefore 10 to 240 and then 240 to 10. So this is nothing but the high frequency point and here also this 10 is nothing but the high frequency point because there is an abrupt transition from 240 to 10 and 10 to 240. To detect the point we require to give the threshold. Pixels are detected as points that are above set threshold. Now we will see this is the mask for the point detection. Now this is the high frequency mask so sum of the coefficient is 0. Around the center minus 1 minus 1 values are there and in the center 8 is there. Now we take the result of the mask on a particular point. Now this is our image Z12, Z9 these are the intensity value or gray label value. Z point, Z5 is a point into the consideration. Then we keep this mask on this image and we just multiply the intensity values with this mask value. We will take the summation and after summation we will take the mod that is we will take the absolute value and we compare with the threshold. So if this result is greater than threshold then we can detect the point. So here we are using mod to detect the dark point as well as bright point. Now see here this is the image. So here this bright point is there and dark background and here bright background and dark point is there. Now we have to detect both points because this is again point detection on the dark background and this is the point detection on the bright background. So we are keeping this point is in our consideration. So we will keep this mask or overlap this mask on this image and we will calculate the result that is nothing but 
minus 1 minus 1 all this value multiplied by 10 and 200 into it so we will get 1520 as it is already positive value and we can take that if the value is greater than 255 then we can keep 255 or otherwise we can take that average also so this is the optional step so 1520 divided by 9 is equal to 169 we divide by 9 because this mask is 3 by 3 so either we can keep 255 or 169 depending on our implementation for this also we are getting the minus value but we are taking the uh, response of the mask as a absolute value so it becomes positive so either we can go for 255 or 169 and if we keep the threshold t is equal to 150 so this uh, response of the mask is greater than threshold so point gets detected so in this way point detection is carried out using this simple high frequency mask now see this is the image so this is 8 by 8 image and here this 0 0 and this 0 they are nothing but the the background is of 100 that is nothing but the gray in color so here some points are 0 and some points are 250 so 0, zero nothing but the black and this 250 is nothing but the white so we can see that in this image the background is gray and here this 3 plus 3 total 8 points are there so when we apply the mask we are getting this whatever the detect point gets extracted we make it a 255 so we are getting like this so after applying the mask we are getting the answer like this and we can find out that this particular 8 points get detected in an image so the point may be bright point or the point may be dark point but they get detected with the absolute operation now next is line detection now this is the mask for horizontal line detection this is a mask for vertical line detection this is a mask for plus 45 and this is a mask for minus 45 now the horizontal mask respond more strongly to horizontal oriented lines vertical mask respond more strongly to vertical oriented lines and this 45 and minus 45 respond to the 45 inclined and minus 45 inclined lines respectively when we want to detect whether this particular point is belongs to the vertical line horizontal line plus or minus 4 then after for that we are applying this four mask we are applying this four mask on this particular point and we are taking the response and we take the response in a absolute value so where response is more that particular points belongs to that type of line so here these four masks are applied and we are taking the absolute value and we are comparing so for example if this uh, value uh, for example this r1 mask is for horizontal line and when we apply the four mask on this image and if the value of r1 is greater than r2 r3 r4 it indicates that z5 line belongs to the z5 point belongs to the horizontal line isolated points thin lines not frequent occurrence in most practical application so generally in an image edge, edges are there instead of points and thin lines so therefore the important is edge detection so the most common approach for detecting the meaningful discontinuities in gray level now we will see if we see this image then in this image that horizontal line is there here vertical line is there this is at the minus 45 and this is the plus 45 and we can see that the whatever that lines they are the brighter lines and all other background is a black background so if we apply the particular mask for example for this image if we apply the horizontal mask then we will get the answer like this now this is the image in which horizontal line is present and when we apply the mask we are we are skipping the border pixel and when we apply the mask skipping the border pixel we are getting this reply so when the horizontal line is present and when we apply the horizontal mask on that then that particular area gets highlighted so we can make the conclusion that if that horizontal component is present then it can get extracted with the horizontal filter now this is a vertical line when we apply the mask and we can find out that this particular area gets highlighted and whatever this area become zero because this is a low frequency region so here high frequency region is present only in this now even we can see that 10 200 this 200 line and this is again 10 
कॉलम सो टेन कॉलम टेन कॉलम टू हंड्रेड सो द फ्रिक्वेन्सी चेंज इज वर्टिकल सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द वर्टिकल लाइन डिटेक्शन सो इफ वी सी ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ मास्क द सम ऑफ द कोफिशियंट इज झिरो सो दॅट इज नथिंग बट द सिग्निफिकंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द हाय फ्रिक्वेन्सी मास्क दॅट इज सम ऑफ द कोफिशियंट इज झिरो अगेन लाईन इज अगेन हाय फ्रिक्वेन्सी सिग्नल नाव फॉर दिस हिअर the line is present at minus 45 when we apply that particular type of filter we are getting or we are extracting the edges now here this particular square is nothing but the single pixel that's why there is no smoothness of the image for this we will get like this now see this image this is 8 by 8 image now in this image original image all types of edges are present horizontal horizontal vertical minus 45 and plus 45 so when we apply the mask or specifically when we apply the horizontal mask we are getting the horizontal edge horizontal edge extracted when we apply the vertical mask we are getting the vertical edges extracted this is for minus 45 and plus 45 and when we apply that four different mask and we are taking the result like this that is where response is more we are taking that point then at that point we are getting this result because this is nothing but the vertical this is horizontal this is minus 45 and plus 45 this image is very small but if we take a image of 128 by 128 we can see the good result so here as samples are less so that's why the continuity or smoothness is not present in an image so this is about all <coughs> point and line detection mask thank you